In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to replace your old or defective printed circuit board inside your pulse amplifier or transistor ignition box with an updated ignition module, along with the benefits of doing so. First, a brief background on the transistor ignition or TI ignition system. In the 1960s, Delco Remi developed a transistor ignition that used a magnetic trigger device inside the distributor instead of a mechanical set of points. The TI system requires stable wiring and connectors to efficiently control the spark. Many times, poor connections and worn wiring will render the TI ignition useless. Another point of failure is the pulse amplifier. The pulse amplifier consists of a circuit board and its heat sinked case, commonly called the TI box. The TI box is typically mounted towards the front of the engine compartment on Corvettes and in other locations within the engine compartment on other cars, making it and its connections susceptible to water intrusion and other outside elements. Although the electronics on an original circuit board inside the TI box are protected by a seal, if that seal is not sufficient or fails over time, water can destroy the transistors and other components. In addition, electronic components do fail over time. This is further escalated by a high temperature engine compartment. If your TI circuit board is damaged, defective, or needs replacement, Electric Limited offers an upgrade to the original TI circuit board. Electric Limited part number VTR6571AM, a fully encapsulated solid state module. This module uses modern electronics like silicon transistors, which are much more reliable than the original germanium transistors. Here are some of the advantages of the VTR6571AM module over the original PC board. Drop-in replacement. This module fits completely inside a stock housing for an absolutely stock appearance and doesn't require any changes to the wiring. Higher output voltage generates twice the coil primary voltage of the stock unit for up to 10% more available secondary voltage. Output protection. Protects against failure caused by broken or disconnected spark plug wires. The original PC board did not have this protection, which caused many to fail. Extended temperature range. Extended operating temperature range of over 300 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas the original PC board had a 160 degree Fahrenheit limit. Improved triggering. Eliminates false triggering due to RF signals affecting factory TI amplifiers, typically seen in the engine compartment. Durable CNC aluminum construction. Premium quality components housed in a CNC machine aluminum shell and potted with a thermally conductive epoxy for superior heat dissipation and outstanding resistance to vibration, moisture, and corrosion. Circuit components are unaffected by harsh environments typically seen in the engine compartment. How to install the VTR6571AM Transistor Ignition Performance Module. This is what the module looks like that we'll be installing. First, disconnect your negative battery cable. When doing so, take the time to inspect the condition of your battery cables, as well as the TI wiring, and other wiring harnesses within your engine compartment. This TI module, along with other components, requires a high quality ground. If you need to replace your battery cables or wiring, check out electriclimited.com for availability of these products. Once we have access to the pulse amplifier or TI box, you can, but it is not necessary, to remove the rubber plug from the TI auxiliary harness. The connection type on your car might be slightly different than that shown in the video. Next, remove the six screws holding on the cover plate. When removing the cover plate, use caution to avoid damaging the gasket. Once the cover plate and gasket are removed, carefully disconnect the three wires going to your PC board. The color of your wires may be different than that shown. Take care not to bend the terminals. Then remove the three screws that affix the PC board to the box. Other screws, if present, 
do not have to be removed. Next we'll rotate our PC board, taking care not to break the wires going to the heat sinked transistor. You may notice grease present under the PC board. Prior to installing the module, all grease must be removed. Using any grease between the module and the TI box will result in a poor electrical ground. Then, using a small screwdriver, carefully pry out the heat sinked transistor from the box and remove the PC board. Now we'll place our new module into the TI box and align the three holes with that from the old PC board. Secure the module with the same screws that held the PC board. You must use serrated type lock washers on the screws to bite into the aluminum module, ensuring a solid ground. Poor or missing grounds will cause serious problems with the module's performance, such as intermittent or missing spark or other adverse conditions. In regards to the color codes for each of the three wires to be connected, and to which terminal on the module they connect to, refer to the installation instructions for your application. In this example, we'll connect the gray wire to terminal 1, the brown wire to terminal 2, and the black wire to terminal 3. Next, we'll insert our gasket. You can use a small amount of marine grade water resistant grease on the gasket to provide a waterproof seal. Lastly, apply your cover plate and affix with the six cover plate screws. If you need wiring or other components for your transistor ignition system, go to electriclimited.com for availability of these products.